Hello friends, this is Akshay. Welcome to Technologic. Today we will discuss about the broadcast and the accumulator example. So we will uh, take one example for each of these distributed shared variables and then check it in the Databricks. And whatever um, discussion we had already uh, on the theoretical part, you can find it using this uh, link. Let's start today's topic if you are really interested please watch till the end so so for the remote uh, nodes in the cluster we can have like two kind of variable distributed shared variable one is accumulator another is broadcast and one is read only another is write only so first i will check one example for the broadcast so let's start uh, with the broadcast um, variable uh, which is a read only variable which can be passed to the all nodes and to look up some data so we will check uh, this by this example i have taken one pair about mk gandhi from wikipedia and what we are going to do here we are going to find the article and flag it as an article so all the articles in this para will be flag appropriately all the other words are like um, left behind so let's go to databricks So I have copied uh, the this para and create like using the split function I have created my collection so it will create uh, all words in a collection so let's run it so I have created my collection and then I will create a RDD using that collection And then I will define my one dictionary as the broadcast data. So that will be A as an article, N as an article, and D as an article. So these are my broadcast article. And then I will actually create the broadcast variable using the spark contest.broadcast method. And next, I can check that if my broadcast is having the value. So yeah, my broadcast is having the value. Now I will going to uh, look up using the lambda function. So for the this paragraph, I have taken each word, and I will I will take if this word match my broadcast data and then it will pick up the value of it like if it is going as word then I will get uh, that a if I will uh, put a then I will get article if I put n then I will get article if I put d I will get article for the rest of the thing I have defined here not article and I have just sorted it using the word pair and article I want to show first and I will collect the data. So let's see the output. And you see all the articles are collected here and that is using the broadcast variable. The same article dictionary is used for all the nodes and you can see the non article as well so let's go back and check for an example for the accumulator so for accumulator we have taken some flight data it has the destination country name it has the origin country name and the count so it's like 
uh, if I have the destination country well, as United States or the origin country as United States or India, whatever. So I will increase the flight counter with the count of it. So then I will just count what is the number of flight you can have for a particular country, whether it's a destination or the origin country. Let's go back and this is my parquet file. I have created a data frame using this parquet file using the read.parquet method. And next, I have created my accumulator. You see, there is no named accumulator given in the Python example. So, I just can only create the unnamed accumulator in Python and this is the accumulator ID and it's the value. Now, I just created a small function here which is like counter function and I just check what is my destination country and what is my origin country and if it is match then I will uh, like add the count to the accumulator variable and next I will call this function in for uh, so data frame and using the for each function I just call the function to call the accumulator and I just from the definition call the accumulator and now I will get the value of the accumulator so it's 135 so 135 flights total uh, start or end in India but if you just want to run it again, the accumulator value will not reset. So it will be just doubling up. Yeah. So what you need to do, you need to recreate the accumulator one each time you want to reuse. And you can see the count is 135 again and now if I just create the same example using scalar so you see I can have like unnamed long accumulator or the named accumulator in the name accumulator I can specify the name of the accumulator and if I just call it in the same function like this and I just get the value And now if I want to check the accumulator in the spark UI I can check it like this go to spark UI so this is your last job Go to the stages and there you can have the flight counter accumulator and this is the value 135 thank you so much for watching this video please like comment uh, your feedback in this video in the comment section and if you uh, please share with your friends and please subscribe
Thank you so much. Please uh, be ready for the next session. Thank you.